Hello everyone, welcome to Paymon Tech Media. In this video you are going to learn how to convert hexadecimal to a decimal number. So as we mentioned earlier, hexadecimal is base 16 number system and decimal is base 10 number system. So in hexadecimal we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, A, B, C, D, E, and F. And of course, in decimal numbers, we have 0, 2, 9. So in hexadecimal, we have a total of 16 different numbers, including 0. And in decimal, we have a total of 10 different numbers, including 0. First, we have to keep in mind that for every hexadecimal number, we have 4 binary digits, or 4 bits. Let's see why. So if this is hex, and here if this is our binary, and here if this is our decimal. Okay, let's say the range 0 in hexadecimal to f. In binary, as I mentioned earlier, for every hexadecimal, we have 4 bits. So let's put the place values 1, 2, 3, 4. And the binary place values we have 1, 2, 4, 8. 2 to the power of 0, 2 to the power of 1, 2 to the power of 2, and 2 to the power of 3. Why 2? Because in binary, base is 2. And to the power of bit position, starting with 0, 1, 2, 3. So these decimal values for this binary, it's coming from base, which is 2 to the power of bit position. And it gives us 1, 2, 4, 8. So number of 0 in hexadecimal number system gives us four zeros in binary and in decimal we can see zero. Now what about f? So here as we can see to keep the single digit here they used a, b, c, d, e, f which a hexadecimal number system corresponds to 10 decimal number b 11, c 12, d 13, e 14, f 15. Therefore, f in hex means 15 in decimal, and in binary, all the 4 bits are turned on, because 8 plus 4, that's 12, plus 2, 14, plus 1, 15. Let's take a look at another hexadecimal number, let's say 6. 6. So in order to get 6, which one do we have to turn on here? 4 and 2, right? 4 and 2 gives us 6, therefore 8 is off. 4 on, 2 on, and 1 is off. And decimal value is 6. Now let's say if we have a hex number of C, which is 12, so we can write 12. And which one do we have to turn on to get 12? 8 plus 4, that's 12. So this one and this one turned on, this one and this one turned off. Therefore, as we can see here, for every hexadecimal number, we have 4 bits. Now depending on the hex value, some of the bits are being turned on, some of them turned off. For example, for 6, we have 0, 1, 1, 0. For C, we have 1, 1, 0, 0. And for F, all the 4 bits turned on and we get 15 in decimal. Now let's say we have a hex number of 7, 0x is just a prefix telling us the following number is hexadecimal. So 0x7, this is an example of single digit hexadecimal number. So let's say we want to convert 7 to decimal. Of course any single digit hexadecimal number less than 9, it's exactly the same as decimal number. For example here, 7 is exactly the same as 7 decimal number. 9 is exactly the same as 9 decimal number. When we get to A, B, C, that's where we see 10, 11, 12. These are the single digit hexadecimal numbers. So let's say we have a hexadecimal of D and we want to convert it to decimal. So this is hex and we can use binary as a bridge and this is our decimal. So hex D, which hex D is equivalent to 13 decimal. We can write 13 here. And as I mentioned earlier, for every hex we have four bits so let's put the four bits here and the place values for the four bits so now in order to get 13 which one do we have to turn on 8 plus 4 that's 12 plus 1 13 and decimal number also is 13 now let's say we have a hexadecimal number system and we want to convert it to decimal 
So let's write a here. And as we can see here, a hexadecimal corresponds to 10 decimal. Therefore, in order to get 10, 8 plus 2 turned on. And decimal is 10. Now let's say we have hexadecimal number of 5. And we want to convert. So this is the hex. Let's convert it to decimal. We have 8 is off, 4 is on, 2 is off, and 1 is on. So 4 plus 1 is 5. And the decimal value also is 5. So here we converted only single digit hexadecimal to decimal. Now let's say if we have multi digit hexadecimal, what do we have to do? For example, let's say if we have a hexadecimal number of 3D and we want to convert this to decimal. This is two digit hex number. So what we need to do first, we have to separate 3 and D. And for every hex number, we have to put four bits. So let's put four bits. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then putting the decimal values. One, two, four, eight. One, two, four, eight. D is 13, as we can see here. So we can write 13 here. Now for three, which one do we have to turn on in this group? Two and one, right? So this is off, off. 2 and 1 and for d which is 13 in decimal which one do we have to turn on to get 13 8 plus 4 that's 12 plus 1 that's 13 so now let's put the binary numbers together 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 1 this was the first group 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 and the second group 1101 1101 now putting the decimal value for the binary 1 2 4 8 16 32 64 128 so you might say why here we have 1248 1248 why it didn't continue because for hexadecimal every hex number we have four bits therefore Numbers goes 1, 2, 4, 8, 1, 2, 4, 8. But when we talk about binary, in binary, it doubles and continues depending on how many binary numbers we have. So in this case, 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 120. If you had more binary, it would just continue 2, 56, 5, 12, 10, 24, and so on. So remember, for hexadecimal, numbers are 1, 2, 4, 8, 1, 2, 4, 8. 1, 2, 4, 8. For binary, it continues as long as we have the binary digits. Okay, so what we did so far, this was our hex number. We did separate, right, in the correct order. And then putting 4 bits per hex. And then converting to the binary. Then putting all the binaries together in the correct order. And then putting the decimal values for the binary. Then we just need to add the numbers that are turned on. In this case, 32, 16, 8, 4, and 1. It's turned on. So let's add these numbers. 32 plus 16 plus 8 plus 4 plus 1. 61. Therefore, hex number of 32 equals 61 in decimal number system. So what we did here, we used binary as a bridge. So first we converted to the binary and then we went to the decimal. So here we can see 3D. Of course, we don't need this 0x in front telling us the following number is hexadecimal because 3D we don't have in decimal number. But what about 23, right? If we have a hex of 2, 3, we don't know if this is the hexadecimal or decimal. Let me show you what do I mean. So let's say if we have 2, 3 here, we don't know if this is a decimal or hexadecimal, right? So we might see 0x in front of it telling us this number here is hex. And this number, it is not the same as 23 decimal. So let's convert hexadecimal number of 2, 3 to decimal and see what is the value. So what we had to do first, separate 2, 3. And then putting 4 bits for 2 and 4 bits for 3 and then decimal values 1, 
two, four, eight. One, two, four, eight. So for two, which one do we have to turn on? Only two. For three, which one do we have to turn on? Two and one. So the rest of them zero. Now we got our binary. Let's put the binaries together. Zero, zero, one, zero, 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 one, one. So this zero, zero, one, zero, 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 one, zero, 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 one, one, zero, zero, one, one. Now let's put the decimal value for the binary number. One, two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two. 64 128 here we can see 32 turned on 2 turned on and 1 so again 1 means on 0 means off okay let's add 32 plus 2 plus 1 which is 35 therefore 0x 2 3 is the same as 35 decimal number system 0x 2 3 it's not the same as 23 decimal and this is one reason why we see prefix of 0x in front of the hexadecimal number system, telling us the following number is hexadecimal number system. So again, here we did also use binary as a bridge going from hexadecimal to decimal. Now how we can directly go from hexadecimal to decimal? We can use the place values of the hexadecimal number system. Let me show you how. Okay, so first let's put the place values for this hexadecimal number. And next, let's put the place value position. And hexadecimal is base 16 system. Therefore, the base is 16. So 16 to the power of 0, it's 1. Any number to the power of 0, it's 1. 16 to the power of 1, that's 16. 16 to the power of 2, that's 256. And 16 to the power of 3 is 4096. Now let's say we have hexadecimal number of 1A5. And we want to convert this to decimal using the hexadecimal place value. So we can put this hexadecimal number into its place value. 5 goes here. And 8 goes here. And 1 goes here. Okay, what do we have to do next? 1 times 256. Plus 8 times 16. So what is A? A is 10. 10 times 16. Plus 5 times 1. So this is 256 plus 160 plus 5, which is 421. Let's take a look using calculator. So we want to change the standard view to the programmer view. And we want to make sure hex is selected. Now we can enter 1A5. 1A5. So 1A5 hexadecimal is equivalent to 421 decimal as we can see here. And this was an example of converting hexadecimal number directly to decimal number using the place value. So this is another way of converting hexadecimal to decimal. We can use binary as a bridge, first converting hexadecimal to binary, then converting binary to decimal, or simply we can use the place value and directly converting hexadecimal to decimal number. Now let's take a look at another hexadecimal number. So first, previously we talked about 3D, now let's talk about 4K. Of course, I'm kidding here, we don't have K in hexadecimal numbers. So hexadecimal numbers goes from 0 to 9 and then A, B, C, D, E, F. Alright, let's take a look at hexadecimal number of let's say A5. A5. And we want to use this technique directly going from this hexadecimal number to decimal number. So 5 goes here. A goes here. So of course A is 10, right? So we can say... 10 times 16 plus 5 times 1 which is 160 plus 5 therefore is 165 
So hexadecimal number of A5 is equivalent to 165 decimal number. Let's take a look using calculator. We want to make sure hexadecimal is selected. A5, this is A5. And as we can see, decimal number is 165. Now let's say if we wanted to convert A5 hexadecimal to decimal using the binary as a bridge, going from A5 hexadecimal to the binary and then from binary to decimal. So first we have to separate, this is A, this is 5, and then putting 4 bits for A, 4 bits for 5, every hex we have 4 bits, and then putting the decimal values, 1, 2, 4, 8, 1, 2, for 8. So for A, which is 10, which one do we have to turn on? 8 and 2. And for 5, 4 and 1. Now putting the binaries together. 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. And then putting the decimal value for the binary numbers. 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. 64 and 128. So here we can see 128 turned on, 32 turned on, 4 and 1. So 128 plus 32 plus 4 plus 1. Which here we can see 8 plus 2, that's 10, plus 4, 14, plus 1, 15. So 15 and this is 3 plus 3, 6 and 1. So 165, 165 using the binary or using place value. Well, this was a quick overview of how to convert hexadecimal number to a decimal number. I just wanted to show you guys the both different ways how you can convert hexadecimal to a decimal. So you can use the place values of hexadecimal or you can use binary. First converting hexadecimal to binary and then from binary converting it to decimal or directly going from hexadecimal by the use of its place values going to the decimal values. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please hit the thumbs up. If you have any question, please leave it in the comment section. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks again and have a good day.